Alright, uh, recently actually one of my YouTube students actually just told me she, she couldn't find any video about the, the E in the log topic so I decided to make one video for her. So yeah, I think this one is not coming out in SPM but then it's actually come out for IGCSE. So over here let me just explain what is E first. So basically E actually means exponent. Exponent is something like I think exponent is something like pi means actually for the exponent is have the own value for it if you use the calculator you're trying to do e1 the calculator will tell you is two point something it's not mistaken if you do something like e1 is something like two point seven two point seven one eight two eight right so most of the time when i tell my student about e i will say it's something like pi Right, so is is something like pi like pi you know is three point one four one six. Okay, of course E E you can have uh, very different power. So okay, so let's say in in the log topics, how do you solve the E type of questions? The first thing is okay, when you see E power of x equals to seven, whenever you want to solve the E type of question, right, you, you have to understand something is you always need to use the ln. Or you call it ln. Ln basically is the log base e. Alright, ln is going to uh, ln actually is a log base e. Okay, so normally we want to trying to get ln e because ln e will equals to one. Why? Because this is log base e e. Whenever log the base number and the real uh, and the real number here is the same, you you know you will get one. Alright, this is the idea how to solve this kind of question so for this question let's say when I see E I will not add LG for both sides so I will add LN for both sides so I get LN7 and then actually LN actually same meaning is LG I, I mean it's log but then it's a different thing definitely uh, LG basically is a log base 10 but then LN is a log base E but both also is log, so the log rule is exactly the same. So we understand that ba basically the power we can move in front. All right. So what I will do is this is x, and then this one will be ln e equals to ln seven. So and then the x basically this one ln e just equals to one equals to ln seven. You can leave your answer like this. I think it's fine. But if you do not want to leave your answer in ln seven, you can use calculator and change it into the one point nine four six maybe. All right. This is how to solve the e type of log question. So since the video is so short, so let me give like few more example. Okay. So just just for example, if let's say. I have e power of x square. This is uh, uh, this is power and power again equals to three hundred and twelve. All right. In order to solve this kind of question, first thing I will do is I will add ln for both sides. So I add ln for both sides. This is three one two. This is e x square. Log actually tell us that power we can move in front, so you get x square. And then ln e just now I said ln e is equals to one. Because this is log e e, so you get one, All right? So this is the whole thing x square move in front here is actually one, equals to ln three one two, so x is just equals to square root ln three one two. All right, so yeah, then you use the calculator, you should be able to get a correct answer for ln three. Uh, just type the whole thing lah. I mean square root ln three one two. So you should get the answer two point three nine six. Right, Ac actually it's not very difficult, but then you have to un understand the idea on how to do this one. Just let me trying to okay. Let me just do one more before I end this video. Right, so uh, okay. Let me just do one more like more difficult one. Okay, let me just erase all this because some student when they see uh, when they see the e they will think it's like very hard kind of question but actually it is not so example so let's say i have e power of 3x 
plus 2ex equals to 3e 2x and then definitely the question will ask you to solve this one and and you you will need to find the x all right so what i will do is i can let ex into something i can let ex into m maybe all right so what i will do is if ex equals to m this one is basically m power of 3 isn't it because this one is basically e 3x we can write become ex 3 isn't it it's the same thing and since the ex equals to m this is m cubed all right and then for this one i will say plus 2 ex is m so the whole thing is m so this one will be 3 this one i can call it m squared all right so then definitely i will need to solve this kind of question i will move everything to one side so this is m cubed minus 3m squared plus 2m equals to 0 and then I will factorize out the m so I will get uh, m squared minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0 and then I will continue to solve this one but I will need more space so I will erase all this definitely, definitely for this kind of question I will need to factorize and then I will need to solve it okay so what i will do is i will actually factorize the thing inside here make it become two bracket equals zero this one is just m m minus two minus one so from here i can get m equals to zero or m equals to one or m equals to two then only i remember just now i let m equals to ex basically ex is my m so i will substitute back the ex because the question actually asked me to find x so when ex equals to zero this one basically will give you math error because you cannot log zero so same thing you add the ln for both sides okay so ln e is just one you move the x in front you get x equals to ln zero if you use the calculator you're trying to you're trying to type ln zero basically the calculator will tell you it's math error so this one is you can say math error or normally i would say undefined means there's no answer for it all right then i will do the same thing for ex equals to one so that's mean i will add the ln for both sides equals to ln one so x is just ln one so same thing for this one so ex equals to two then i add the ln for both sides so it's just ln two so x is just equals to ln two in IGCSE exam, you can leave your answer in term of ln. It doesn't matter. Not necessarily must live in decimal because it's something like pi. But if you want to live in decimal, it will be okay also, I think. All right, so, okay, just like two more questions before I end this video. All right. Yeah, we, since it's about E, so I try to explain more about the E and ln thing. So same thing. If I have something like ln x power of 2 equals to 3. Okay, if in the exam the question asks you to solve this question, basically the question asks you to find x. So what I can do first is ln x multiply ln x. I, could, I couldn't do that, but I can move the square to the other side. So basically ln x equals to square root 3 positive negative. And if I move my ln to the other side, it's basic, basically it will become e power of positive negative square root 3 so you have two answer which is e power of square root 3 or e power of negative square root 3 all right but some student might confuse about this part so let me explain about this one so let's say i said ln x equals to 2 and i want to find x i know ln basically is log base e equals to 2 so when I, when I move the log base e to the other side, the e actually will become the number here, and the number here will become the power. All right. So if you still feel very confused about this part, what you can do is, uh, what you can do over here is, okay, you can actually try to add the ln e by yourself. Because ln e is 1, right? 2 multiply 1, you still get 2. You haven't changed the value means you can add the ln e f over here and then you know actually number in front can move up become the power like just now so this is ln e square 
and then you cut the ln, you still get x equals to d power of 2. Alright, this is how I solve the uh, ln type of question. When I see ln over here, I know I move to the other side, it will become e power of something. So if let's say ln x equals to 1 over 2, so I know x equals to e power of 1 over 2. Because ln basically is the log base e. So same, same thing over here. You can leave your answer in e, but if you want to leave your answer in, in decimal, it's fine also. Yep, so I think that's all for this video. If you have more questions about ln or e, you can let me know in my Facebook or in my YouTube. Anyways, thanks for watching.